day 14, Genesis 39 to 41. Three steps to tackle the national crisis. Joseph, who acknowledged his suffering as experience and training, was appointed the vizier of Egypt after a long period of preparation and by working out God's stream. First point, Joseph, Pharaoh, and Jacob's dreams made up God's vision. Joseph's dream showed his own destiny of becoming the vizier of Egypt. Pharaoh's dream, on the other hand, was the fate of Egypt. Even bigger, Jacob's dream revealed the destiny of one nation for all nations. If Joseph had not had his dreams, then he would not have been able to interpret Pharaoh's dream. Pharaoh's dream became a reality and it ultimately led Joseph to meet his father. However, Jacob's dream was even bigger in capacity. Jacob's dream concerned the descendants of Abraham who would reside in Egypt for 430 years and form a great nation. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for I will make you into a great nation there. I will go down to Egypt with you, and I will surely bring you back again. And Joseph's own hand will close your eyes. The three dreams collectively point to God's vision of blessing all nations. Second point, age 30, Joseph graduated Potiphar's home school and also prison school. To become the head family secretary at the house of Potiphar, Joseph had to work relentlessly. Through this experience, Joseph learned Egypt's agricultural economy. Not long after, however, Joseph found himself imprisoned for something he did not do. Despite being innocent, Joseph, without grudges, worked very hard in prison and was promoted in prison. It was here that Joseph met Pharaoh's wine bearer and bread baker. Joseph interpreted both their dreams and, as predicted, the bread baker was put to death and the wine bearer was set free. In prison, Joseph learned about the inner workings of politics. Third point. Joseph, as a vizier of Egypt, had three solutions to solve a national calamity. If Joseph had only interpreted the dream, then he may have been sent straight back to prison with some palace souvenirs. However, Joseph was promoted to Bajir on that very day because he came up with a solution for the next 14 years. Joseph suggested three plans to solve the situation. The first was to collect one-fifth from the abundance and keep it in storage. The second was to store the grain in different parts of the lands as opposite to collecting it in one area. The third was that for 14 years, the cabinet would operate as an emergency unit. Fourth point, Pharaoh suggested that Joseph hold all the power, leaving only the title of Pharaoh to him. Pharaoh did not waste time and immediately made changes in order to save the future of Egypt. First, Pharaoh promoted Joseph as the vizier to solve the 14-year abundance and famine. Second, Pharaoh presented Joseph with a signet ring dressed him in robes of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. Third, Pharaoh made Joseph parade around the streets so that the people could see that Joseph was second only to Pharaoh. Fourth, Pharaoh changed his name to Japheth Nasphania, which meant the man who reveals the truth. And fifth, Pharaoh made Joseph marry Asenas, daughter of Potipera, 
priest of all. Fifth point, Joseph led the 14-year national project. From day one of his new position, all Joseph focused on was the 14-year national project. This is similar to when his father Jacob worked nights and days tending to Laban's flock in Haran for 20 years. Joseph spent the first seven years acquiring one-fifth of the grain and storing it safely in the national unit. Finally, famine struck all of Egypt and its surrounding countries. How terrified and relieved would Pharaoh have been when he witnessed Joseph's predictions come true? Two years into the famine, after the seven years of abundance, nine years into Joseph acting as premier, the Egyptian palace was completely overflowing with riches. It was at this time when his ten brothers traveled all the way from Canaan to buy food for Jacob's family. After much negotiations, threats, and tears, the twelve brothers are finally reconciled and Joseph invites his father Jacob to live with him in Egypt during famine. Joseph was so busy that he was unable to go to Jacob to bring him to Egypt, despite how much he had missed his father. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.